Okay, one, this lighting sucks. Two, I have to use my iPhone because my camera is dead and that sucks. I have a huge pimple and my lips are just so glossy because I had to put lip balm on. So I wanted to show you guys how I make my t-shirts. Now this t-shirt was a mess up, so that's why I'm wearing it. You see how the T is all messy? So this is heat transfer iron on. We'll get into it later. Because they're handmade, they're not gonna be perfect, but obviously selling things, you want them to be the best quality, the best that it can be. So it may not be perfect, but it's, you know, obviously not like that. And you can see it's a little baggy, but that's how I personally like shirts. I don't like skin tight shirts. It kind of shows off like too much of my fupa. And if you can do that, cool. I'm not a fan of it on me, so I don't like it. And then I can roll up my sleeves too, so it's like super cute. Okay, this lighting is absolutely horrific, but your girl is in a time rush. I got a therapy to go to, so. So I got into Etsy because I obviously, one, I'm broke. Two, because I like to make things. I've always been kind of someone that's crafty or, you know, I can't draw though, like that is not a thing. I like to write. My dad got me the Cricut for Christmas and it's a vinyl cutter, a cutter, for, it cuts anything, like card stock, vinyl, stickers, like I'll list it all in the description. I don't wanna get into too much of this right now because I feel like a lot of you just wanna see how I make the shirts. So if you're interested in what machines I'm using, what I'm gonna be changing soon, and how I got into it, then you can wait and it'll be at the end of the video um, because I'm sure a lot of you are just like, Corinne, I have things to do, like I don't really care. So I just wanna see how you make your shirts. So let's do it. And I'm really sorry again for this, like this lighting is horrific. Like you see my ratchet ass heater over there. And by the way, I'm just letting you know right now, everything is very disorganized right now because I don't have an art studio. I've been doing this literally out of my dining room. And I'm really excited though, because my boyfriend Ryan, his dad is building me a huge like desk to put my heat press, my Cricut, my sublimation printer and my regular printer. So I'm really excited about it. So here we go. Here is how I make t-shirts. What cuts? The, um, the vinyl that I use. I use premium heat transfer vinyl. You can get it uh, through Cricut or you can get it through um, just about anywhere. You can get it at Michaels, AC Moore. I like AC Moore because they have way more uh, discounts on things. Yep, it's a mess. I told you it's a hot mess, but um, I'm telling you I'm gonna get in my studio soon so everything's gonna be a lot better. But this is where, I, this is how I print my stickers. I have like the, the printable vinyl. People sometimes use sticker sheets, but I find that vinyl is better quality and it's better and it's easier to take off your car if you want to use it for a decal or your laptop. Um, so yeah, this it's just a mess. Like this is my life right now. It's just a hot mess. And obviously I have two water bottles because, and one fishy from my daughter and acrylic paint, like I don't get my life. So first I go to the design space on Cricut. I just made a shirt like with uh, one blessed hot mess. Um, I'm gonna upload a design I've already made. Now, I don't use Photoshop, I use PicMonkey. Um, the only reason why, honestly, is just because I didn't realize that uh, Photoshop was so cheap. That is my end product. So now I'm gonna open this up. I always do complex, I probably don't need to do complex, but I just do. So now it's gonna ask if you want to print and cut Oh, excuse me, I'm disgusting, or just cut. I'm just cutting today. I don't need to save it as a print. So now you just hit it, insert. So now my mat is tiny. I don't have a big mat, and I know that looks big, but it's not big. So I can only do it so large. Gotta mirror it, because you gotta put on your shirt correctly. All right, now to get the vinyl. Now I'm gonna do the rest on my, my real camera, because I think it should be charged by now, so. BRB. So I'm gonna click on everyday iron-on or you can do the sports flex iron-on I do have the sports flex actually so I'll probably use that. It's a little stronger um, Pretty much the same thing But sport flex is like so that way you can stretch better. So I have my sports flex final So I'm doing this super bad. You're supposed to have Like can you see? You're supposed to have like the number showing on the, you can't see the number. So how could you see it? Okay, correct. 
So sometimes it doesn't like to stick onto your sticky ass mat that, you're, that you bought for a lot of money, but it doesn't want to stick. So make sure this side is down. Shiny side, they say. So now it is blinking that it will let me go. Sometimes I like to like hold it, the mat, because sometimes it doesn't like to go in all the way. So it's gonna go in. This is like not leveled, Corinne. Figure yourself out. The cricket symbol, meaning to cut, is blinking. And now we cut. Anyone else that has a cricket knows that like when it's up like that, it's not supposed to be like that, but nothing I can do because it's not sticking right now and I don't have time to actually go clean my mat to make it stickier because I have a therapy appointment in a half an hour. But as you can see, it is cutting. It's a pretty big design. Whoever buys this shirt's gonna be happy. Now I price my shirts usually uh, at 25 um because the shirts are really good quality and then this vinyl is stupid expensive and it's really good quality um but soon i will be using a sublimation printer which literally just dyes the ink into your shirt so there's no vinyl and no cutter needed um that i will dive into later on in the video if you are interested in finding out about those um i'll still be using vinyl though for whatever your preference is of course as you can see, this takes a while. This is not something that is fast. Also, I have a fast setting, but I don't like to use the fast setting because I want it to be perfect. I don't want it to rush and then, you know, something bad happens, so. Do you like my tools? I'm so excited I got those. Okay, it's done. Blinking light. Unload the mat. Press finish. And we're done. Now we're on to weeding. This is another part of the process. So pretty much you can just peel it. Now I don't like to waste all this vinyl, so I'll cut it. All you gotta do is take your, your weeding tool, looks like a little hook, like at a dentist, and you take it, and I like to just go like right there. I'm not perfect at this, okay? So don't judge. And then you literally just peel it off, like so. And your saying is already cut, so it stayed on. I'm probably gonna get so much heat on YouTube about how bad I am at this, but just started, dude. Obviously, if it's an like easier font, once it gets to cursive font or calligraphy, obviously, like that is where it gets to be a little tricky, but if it's just regular bold font, it's actually easier. But I like cursive, who doesn't like cursive, you know? So you see, it's pretty much weeded out, except for the O's and all that stuff, so let's do that. So I'm taking it, and I have that out. So. You have to be really careful, because if you freaking cut the design, then you're done for, and then you just start all over, and you wasted all that vinyl. That cost you a boatload of money. It's like annoying as hell. All right, well, we're done with weeding. Ta-da! Now on to the shirt. I'm gonna place this on the shirt and iron it on. I do have a heat press. I have a hat press, I have a mug press, I have all that, but I haven't set anything up yet because I'm waiting for Ryan's dad this week to do the uh, art studio for me. So, let's get this on a shirt. Okay, so you have your design, and now I'm, it's a pre-ironed shirt, but it doesn't look very ironed, does it now, huh? Yeah, no. Oh, hold on, I'll iron it a little bit more later. Okay, you place your awesome design on your shirt, make sure it's centered. Wow, my shirt looks so bad, it's not ironed. I swear it is though, I just ironed it. I'm really bad at ironing. In the future, I'm gonna have my heat press, so it's gonna be a little different, a lot different actually, but for now, I have my handy dandy iron. Ratchet USA. 
put my cover on. It keeps the image from curling or melting or damaging. And then we start. Wanna show everybody how you shake your booty? Good girl, keep it classy. Can we just document this right now? My kid is listening to what does the fox say? I don't know if you can hear it. Hey Ray, get ready for it, it's about to get wild. Ready? Ready? What does the fox say? And there it is, it's all done. It's all done? It's all done. It's yeah. Thanks, Ray. It's hot. Is it be hot? Yeah, it was. Give me a high five. Wait, what? Give me a high five. I'll give you a high five. Thank you. After all that's done, I put it on my Etsy and I pray to Jesus that someone likes it and we move forward. So what I have going on next, which I'm really excited about, is I have a sublimation printer. And what the difference between sublimation and vinyl is, is very, very different. So vinyl, it goes on top of the shirt. So if you see this, you can't really feel it that much because it's really good vinyl, but it's not dyed into the shirt. It sits on top of the shirt. Where sublimation, you have to use a polyester material. Um, so polyester shirts, or they put a poly coating over a mug or anything, literally anything, a phone case, coasters, whatever. They put this poly material, poly chemical on it. I'm not a scientist, okay? But how it works is the sublimation ink and the poly chemical, like, creates a gas with the heat, and then the ink dies into the shirt or whatever the object is. The printer though, I'm really excited to get that because even though it's crazy expensive, the products will last a longer time. Um, vinyl lasts, it's great, I love vinyl, nothing's wrong with vinyl, people use it all the time. Big companies use it all the time. It's, it's not that it's bad, it's just sublimation is just that much better. So I'm really excited about it. I'll have that printer soon, and I'll be making mugs, coasters, um, t-shirts, socks. The reason behind all this, behind the Etsy account, it's not just to make money. Um, I like, I like YouTube a bit. I like connecting with you. I like having a brand where we, as women and men, can come together and live a hot mess lifestyle. And it's okay, and it's normal, and. You don't have to be all like perfect, like oh my god, but you guys know my life's perfect, obviously, like I'm so perfect, like I have it so together, obviously. Bruh. This just really helps my family in supporting me and Ray, and as a single mother, working and having this side hustle, it's just so much fun, and I love what I do, and I really want you to be involved, and I, I just, I don't know, I'm in the feels right now. <laughs> and thank you to everybody who supported me, and is continuing to support me, and I love you guys so much. Thank you for joining me on this journey, and hopefully we can make this a big thing, and uh, I appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel if you liked what you saw, if you wanna join, and hopefully you give a, this video a thumbs up. Thanks, love you. I totally did not explain everything right, so this is a joke and a half, but hey, I hope you guys liked it, yeah.